Ayan, good evening. So, magandang gabi sa ating lahat. So, dito sa video na ito, ay may isi-share ako sa inyo na video na napaka-importante. Siyempre, ngayon may gera dito sa Israel. And alam naman natin, the real cause ng problem na ito ay yung Hamas. So, maraming natadamay ng mga civilians dahil sa Hamas na ito. So, that's why it is considered as terrorista yung Hamas kasi sila lang naman talaga yung pinaka punot dulo ng problema na ito and may share ko sa inyo na video actually isa rin po siyang uh, Palestinian, he is a human right expert, so political analyst and commentator na rin siya, journalist, so pakinggan natin kung paano niya na-explain yung uh, Hamas na ito actually sinabi niya na to na ang Hamas talaga it is uh, pure evil, kaya maraming nadadamay na civilian dahil sa Uh, terrorista na ito. So, ang pangalan niya ay si Basim Ed. Kung hindi, hindi ako nagkakamali yung pangalan niya, Basim Ed. Hindi ko alam yung pronunciation, no? And 5 minutes lang ito, at least you could uh, learn something. Ipapakita ko lang sa inyo. And maganda kasi yung ginawa niyang video. At least we could have an idea. We, ca we can focus sa uh, ginagawa ng Hamas ngayon. Ito po si Basim Ed. So, isa po siyang uh, Palestinian expert. So, siya may sumi mag-explain sa atin kung ano talaga yung Hamas. To my Palestinian brothers and sisters, and to anyone who supports the Palestinian people, I implore you, please do not let Hamas brainwash you into thinking it has achieved anything on our behalf. It hasn't. Not in the Gaza wars of 2021, 2014, 2012, or 2008. Each one of these pointless conflicts has been... Yan, sabi niya... Huwag tayong magpa-brainwash sa Hamas na ito kasi maraming, maraming away na battles pero marami talagang nabuwis yung buhay dahil sa kagagawa nila and uh, marami talagang nasawi. Catastrophe, costing us dearly in lives and treasure. Hamas is not a social justice movement and it certainly does not care about the Palestinian people. It is a criminal gang that only cares about increasing its own power. Israel is not the main cause of your suffering. Hamas is the main cause. Israel is not your jailer. Rabin. Hamas is. It was Hamas hmm. that led you into this most recent disaster. They told you that the Israelis were evicting innocent Palestinians from their homes in the Sheikh Jarrah hmm. area of East Jerusalem. It is a lie. The people living in those homes weren't tenants. They were squatters. They hadn't paid rent for decades. They told you that the Israelis planned to destroy the Al-Aqsa Mosque. Actually, yung Al-Aqsa nga eh, nakuha yun ng Israel, pero dahil sa, for the sake of peace, pinalik yan ng isa sa mga sundali dito. And if I'm not mistaken, si Mushida yan, or, ayan, correct me if I'm wrong, pero uh, binalik yan sa mga uh, Palestinian para, para sa kapayapaan. So actually, nasa Israel sana yan yung uh, Al-Aqsa Mosque. Eh. This too is a lie. The mosque is still there. It will be there tomorrow. Say what you want about the Israelis. They are not stupid. They know that if they actually attempt to destroy Al-Aqsa, it would lead to war with every Muslim country. Yes. Hamas take actions and thus look strong next to its rival, the corrupt Fatah party. But the only action it takes is to lead us into chaos. Hamas has no ability and in fact, no desire to govern. The water isn't safe to drink. The power goes out for hours at a time. Raw sewage washes up on your beaches. The Israelis are not responsible for these dismal failures. Hamas is. Actually, since na ang Hamas ay nagrule sa Gaza, dapat responsibilidad na nila talaga na kasi nga maraming pera, there are billions na binibigay sa kanila to fund the people there. Pero yun nga, hindi nila ginagamit to fund the facilities there, malinis yung beach, si tubig. Actually, yung Israel pa yung tumutulong sa mga tao doon at yung pagkain, which is dapat kung ang Hamas yung uh, nag, uh, uh, naglilid doon, dapat sila yung talagang responsible sa ganung situation. Pero yun nga, hindi nila ginagamit sa uh, pagpa-improve pag ng lugar, kundi ginagamit nila to build uh, bunkers or 
mga bagay para makas makasira sa bayan ng Israel. And everybody in Gaza knows it. It is Hamas that steal the imported cement meant to build houses for you and uses it instead to build a massive network of tunnels from which its hopes to terrorize Israelis. It is Hamas that makes sure humanitarian aid meant for you is diverted to its favored elites who then sell it for a profit on the black market. And it is Hamas that uses you as a human shield, stationing so, rocket... So, nakita nyo? Sabi mo nagsabi that Hamas are using human shield. Maraming mundo na tao na hindi na naniniwala. Tapos nakikita nila na ang Israel nagbubomba ng mga uh, mosques, schools or anything kasi nga ginagamit nila ginaga, gina, ginagamit nila na facilities so marami talagang madadamay Mag maganda ng Israel kasi nagbibigay pa rin sila ng warning during para para pasabugin lang yung facilities big sabihin nakakatakas pa rin yung mga hamas na ito but syempre dahil sa mga civilians doon so andun yung ganun pa rin yung ginagawa ng Israel pero binubomba lang talaga nila so maraming minsan na nawawala ng anan, na bahay or may mga nasasaktan kasi nga Sila rin mismo, they are building their their network doon mismo sa mga facilities na hindi dapat. Diba? Kung baga hindi nila pinoprotektahan yung mga tao. Rather, ginagamit nila human shield para mamatay. Launchers and missile arsenals in your apartments, office buildings, schools, and even hospitals. Israel uses rockets to defend its people. Hamas uses people to defend its rockets. As for its war strategy, Hamas doesn't have one. It fires missiles at the most highly populated regions of Israel with no specific target. Hmm. So ayan, yung mga Hamas, wala, hindi naman talaga sila yung plano. Kaya ngayon nung nagkaroon ng gera na penetrate ng Hamas yung Israel, kaya nagtataka sila bakit napakaganda ng plano. Kaya uh, maraming nagtataka and... Uh, Sabi na possible na tumulong dito yung Iran kasi yung Hamas wala talaga silang kapasidad to have this plan. Kaya nga yung target lang nila is to bomb yung mga, mga rockets kahit saan lang strike everywhere. Kaya minsan may mga rockets sila na hindi pumunta ng Israel kundi kung lumiliko tumatama mismo sa mga civilian. Diba? So ngayon medyo ano, may meron talagang uh, uh, sa likod niya na nag, uh, tumutulong sa kanila. Yet, I know from my sources in Gaza that as much as 25% of all rockets launched by Hamas in May 2021 crashed within Gaza. 50 Gaza civilians were killed by these rockets. Mm. Their deaths falsely blamed on Israel. Mm. Are you aware of the fact that some of the Hamas mm. missiles that Israeli defense forces failed to intercept ended up exploding in places like Jaffa, Abu Ghosh, and Lud, where Arab Israelis live. Palestinians living in Israel are as likely to be killed. So, totoo naman yan kasi may mga, may mga rockets na bumabagsak sa mga area. Kasi doon sa Israel may mga area na mga Arab Israeli, mga Arabs kasama nila, mga Palestinians din, mga Arab Israeli, na... Doon bumabagsak kasi nga strike anywhere sila. Actually, this war, may, uh, may ano nga eh, may rocket sila nakabagsak sa Betle. May, uh, I think may namatay din doon. Tapos may isa rin na malapit sa Ramala, which is their family dapat. So, kumbaga wala silang pakialam sa mga tao dito sa, sa Israel, whether you are Israeli or Arab. As Israelis themselves, Hamas couldn't care less and what was gained. Palestinians living in these four buildings in Sheikh Jarrah will still eventually be evicted. A fact that has been known to those families since they sold away the title to those buildings. Think about the even greater number of Palestinians who are now homeless in Gaza because Hamas chose to hide weapons in residential buildings. And when naive American and European NGOs offer millions to rebuild Gaza, who do you think will get that money? It won't be you. The people who really deserve it and need it. It will be the leaders of the Hamas gang and their friends who will add new rooms to their fancy villas, 
rather than rebuild homes, purchase coronavirus vaccines, or provide social services oh, wow. for oh, their people. Tao sa Gaza. And the peace you so deserve, the peace which could have been possible when Israel withdrew entirely from the Gaza Strip in 2005, will be even further out of reach. Hamas robbed you of that chance Actually, nag, when it said... Actually, withdraw na yung Israel para maayos na. Kaya may mga places doon na, na vacant. Merong line talaga na, na nag-mediate uh, sa dalawang panig. Pero since na pumasok nga yung Hamas na ito, so doon lang nila nilagyan ng fence kasi nga alam nila na ang Hamas terorista talaga. Pero makita natin yung lab ng Israel din sa mga civilian. Mga ano, mga ano dito. Itab. It's military gang then. It's robbing you of the same chance now. No matter how many Jews it managed to kill, Hamas will never be satisfied. It will never stop lying. But you can stop believing its lies. I am Basim Eid for Prager University. Thank you for watching this video. Ayan, so si Basim Eid. So, galing po mismo sa kanya yan. Naniniwala siya that it is not the problem of Israel, which is ito naman. So, at least mamulat yung kaisipan natin na ang Hamas talaga, terrorista yan. They are the only main problem. Kasi nga, they don't like peace. And what they want is to eradicate talaga yung Israel. So, nadadamay talaga yung mga, Pal mga Palestinian doon na mga inosente. Actually, oppress lang talaga sila. They cannot shout. They cannot voice out dahil siyempre baka patayin sila ng Hamas para silang ano mga, mga ano sa Pilipinas yung kaya nagkaroon ng kawawa yung Marawi dahil sa ISIS so maraming nadamay same din dito sa Gaza kaya dapat ma-eradicate talaga yung Hamas na ito and mapalitan ng maayos na government para makapamuhay na maayos yung mga tao doon so ayan eh, kung, kung gusto nyo i-follow nyo ito si Basem Eid at least maano nyo sa side nila yung uh, realidad ng nangyayari dito so at least galing ito sa kanila hindi galing sa atin so magkaroon tayo ng uh, anong tawag dyan hindi uh, bias kasi sa, sa kanila mismo galing yung uh, explanation na ito so ayan I hope na meron tayong natutunan today bye bye